The RIT men's hockey team pulls off the upset in the opening round game of the NCAA tournament. Time Warner Cable News sports reporter John Scott is in South Bend and caught up with the team afterwards. John? RIT players saying all week that they believe they could be top-ranked Minnesota State. In dramatic and controversial fashion, the Tigers did just that. RIT beating the Mavericks 2-1 to one with Josh Mitchell's deciding goal coming late in the third period. After initially being waved off because of goalie interference, the referees overturned their ruling. Jordan Ruby, also the hero for the Tigers with 33 saves. Here's what head coach Wayne Wilson had to say after the thrilling win. I just thought going into the third period, there's just a lot of pressure on uh, the number one seed when it's, you know, one shot can mean a goal. And, and that's basically what happened. We got a good opportunity uh, in the third period. Uh, we drove the net. Uh, we thought it was a good goal from our perspective on the bench. Uh, uh, the refs reviewed it, but uh, uh, we ended up scoring the goal. That was a big goal. So it was a lot of key moments in the game where I thought we came up big and that's uh, we rose to the occasion when we needed to and uh, we weathered the storms when we had to and uh, I couldn't be prouder of the guys. All right, he advances to the Midwest Regional Final Sunday night with the puck dropping at 730. But for now, here in South Bend, Indiana, John Scott, Time Warner Cable News. And in Rochester, it was a roller coaster of emotions during yesterday's game for fans who tuned in. And it was a nail biter with tons of RIT fans gathering at the Gene Policini Center for a watch party. Look at them cheer. It was the place to be for students and alumni who could not make it to South Bend. And fans are especially proud after the shaky season. The team worked hard to make their way into the tournament the first time since 2010. Fans are now hoping the team makes it to the Frozen Four and celebrating what many people thought was impossible, a win over the number one seed in the tournament. This is great. I mean, it's been five years since they've made it uh, to the NCAA tournament, so it's fantastic that they've made it this far this year. Really didn't expect it at the very beginning of the season, but they really pulled it out uh, the second half, so really proud of them. This is awesome. This is a great group we got here. Um, the top line, the MGM line, just... It's a great line, and uh, um, you know it's, it's too bad we're we're losing you know some guys this year, but you know the seniors. But we got some good uh, young guys too, and they're gonna they're gonna step up, and we're gonna we're gonna have a good uh, a good couple more seasons here. I think it's just overwhelming as a fan to be able to see them go just just to see me a little bit get to see them go off to the NCAA tournament. I mean I can't thank them enough for trying so hard to play as hard as they have been. It is a very exciting time for fans, and RIT will face off against Omaha tonight in the tournament's regional final game. And fans will be back, ready to cheer on the Tigers again.